everybody, it is Margaret, Texas Gal Treasures, and in this video we're going to be talking about different ways that you can make money off of YouTube. You may be saying to yourself, but Margaret, I don't want to put my face on camera. I'm going to show you five and then a few extra ways that you can make money on YouTube without having to show your face. So hi, my name is Margaret, Texas Gal Treasures, and I've been on YouTube for about two and a half years. I started because I loved it, and it turned into a love relationship with YouTube, and also being able to make a little bit of extra money. That's the dream, right? Making money at something you enjoy doing. So I enjoy it, I make money from it, and I'm gonna show you how you can make a little bit of extra money off YouTube without having to show your face. Now we've all seen these really popular YouTubers. They're super handsome or beautiful and they make tons of videos and they're up in your face and they're just, they have this charisma and that's awesome. They're working with what they've got. But let's say you don't have that self-confidence yet. If you see my first videos, you will see that I don't have the self-confidence either, but it, it grows. So if you're wanting to dip your toes into YouTube, these are some things that you can do. I'm gonna show you five ways, and then at the end, I'm gonna give you a few extra tips as well. Leave a comment down below and let us know another type of video that people could make without showing their face that could make a little bit of extra money on YouTube. All right, let's jump into it. So as we go through this, you're gonna see me referencing this video lytics uh, panel along the side here. And this is from a plugin called TubeBuddy. And I have a link down below. So if you are on YouTube and you're interested in checking out analytics from different videos, estimated royalties and what people are earning and all these kind of analytic type things, then check out the link down below and go over and sign up for TubeBuddy. I use it every day with my channel. So one way that you can make money off of YouTube is making videos showing how things work. I remember a day when I was in the teacher's lounge having to spiral bind some notebooks for a teacher when I was volunteering. I didn't know how to work the spiral binder and I didn't want to go interrupt the classroom to figure out how to work the spiral binding machine. So what did I do? YouTube. So here is the video that I watched. Look, this person only has 45 subscribers. So having a lot of subscribers helps for sure, getting people to watch your videos, but you don't have to have a ton of subscribers. If somebody is looking for how to work a peach star comb binder, they're gonna find your video and they're gonna come watch it. It doesn't have amazing lighting, it doesn't have graphics and just, I mean, it's not blowing up and you know, whatever. Um, it's just peach star comb binder, 121,000 views, and it's estimated earning $182. Not bad. All right, next up, this is June Penny's video, how to use a Keurig coffee maker. Now this might seem like something that is a no brainer to you, but let's say you're grandma and you're trying to figure out this new Keurig device that your grandkids got you. Well, you can't figure it out. What are you gonna do? You're gonna go to YouTube and watch a video showing you how to use it. So this Keurig coffee maker video has earned an estimated $575. So another thing you can do is to read aloud public domain books. You don't have to show your face. You can read a story and have it recorded. So this is my channel, and this is a read aloud that I did of The Velveteen Rabbit. Now, I read this book aloud. I, I love this book. So it was a 25-minute long video. It's got over 8,000 views, earn estimated earnings. It says between $2 and $34. So this is $13 there. But hey, every little bit helps. And this is a video that stays up on my channel. So every single month, it's earning a little bit more revenue that rolls up together with all the other videos that I've made for extra income for my house. All right, so here's another one. I would love to read Pride and Prejudice. This one is uh, 10 hours long. No biggie, no big whoop, just 10 hours. But it has earned $2,000. So mm, would you like to earn $2,000 for 10 hours of work? Who wouldn't? So this is another great option. Find public domain books, and here's a website, I pulled it up. Um, best children's books, public domain children's books. You could just do a search for public domain books. There are so many, and this site has quite a few greatest audible book, audio books. Now, this wasn't their number one book. Uh, their number one one was something else, anyway. But they've got tons on there, and, and even though you might say, Margaret, this one's already been done. Somebody's already read Pride and Prejudice, but you've already read the, the Velveteen Rabbit, Margaret. Now I can't do it, thanks a lot. 
right? No, somebody may think my voice is just the most irritating voice on the planet and not want to listen to me read. So they might hear your voice and it might sound like their grandmother. They might hear your voice and you've got this accent that they is just to die for. They love it, right? So everybody has their own voice that they can bring to different stories. Now, I do see a lot of people reading books that are not in the public domain. I do not recommend this. I don't know how they get away with it because these books are copyright. There must be some sort of permission. I see a ton of them out there. And either they just don't go after them or they have some sort of permission to be able to do this. But they do make quite a bit of money. So here, Llama Llama Red Pajama, you know, has made $2,000, but... Um, I don't know. I mean, maybe support the author by purchasing the book. I, I'm not sure how they how they get away with that. I mean, that's something to look into because if there's a way to do it, then sure. Reading popular children's books. I know there were times as a teacher where I'm like, I need five minutes. Here, kids, watch this. You know, and you turn on that, El they call them an Elmo, like projector thing and put something on real fast because, you know, somebody's mom just popped in and needed a paper now right? Or something. So <laughs> this is another option. So look, this one has earned $84. So, you know, but again, be careful with things that are copyright because you don't want to get yourself into trouble with that. So there's that. So my next one, number three, goes along the same lines as the public domain books, and that is creating music compilations with public domain music. All right, music public domain music. There's a ton of music in the public domain, and this is one that we actually listen to all the time. Eight hours, lullabies for baby to go to sleep. And this, this we, have, we use this one almost every single day. My kids have gotten used to the songs that this one plays, so we play it for probably an hour a night. Imagine that hour worth of ad revenue from one mom here. This has got, oh, 98 million views and has earned 148K public domain music, right? So let's take a look at another one. So here's one from Free Classical Music, Mozart Turkish, Turkish March. It has 3 million views and has earned $5,000 worth of income. If this was something I was considering doing, I might put it on a separate channel from what I've already got. Uh, my read alouds, I'll probably still do on my channel because I like to read and everyone knows it. But if I were to do something separate like this, I might create a new channel that was dedicated to music. The fourth way that you can make extra money on YouTube is by doing product reviews and discussing if things really work. A lot of times before people buy things, they come to YouTube to find out if what they're wanting to buy really does what it says it's going to do. My husband watches no end of truck videos, not fancy truck videos put out by truck companies, but just random guys walking around their trucks and showing the different aspects of trucks. Let me show you some of the product review videos that are out there that have made a little bit of extra money. All right, so unboxings and product reviews. Let's say you are interested in buying a Razer Black Widow Ultimate Stealth Edition 2014 orange switches, whatever that is. Is it a computer? I don't even know is it here, okay? Um, so <laughs> this is actually my friend's channel, Dingo Ate Your Baby. Um, he, his name is Zaheer, and he has a separate channel where he does product reviews. Now this, is, this has got a twofer for it. So you're doing a product review and you're earning income from people watching that. So it's got a ton of views and it's earned $297. Now let's say you're interested in this. Another thing that you can do is you can get it, get the latest one. You can start dropping in Amazon affiliate links. And I've talked about Amazon affiliate links in another video where I, where I talk about five different ways to make extra income. Uh, so yeah, Amazon affiliate links here, and then he's earning income from the video here. So product review videos and unboxings is a twofer. Revenue from the video, revenue from affiliate links. So here's another one. Mama Mittens did a video about multifunctional scissors unboxing and review. So let's say you're not good with electronics, but you're good with scissors, right? <laughs> So she's just showing these Kitchen Go multifunctional scissors, unboxing and review. Easy peasy, right? She so shows the scissors. She's got her affiliate link down here. So you can, she can earn money here from her estimated earnings from just doing a quick two minute video and then earn any money from affiliate links if someone goes, clicks the link and orders the product. Here's another one. I love her. I love her starting picture. I'm like, I just want to say, you got this girl. 
you can do it. Okay, she is showing her face on this one, but this is just another example. Um, she's, she's testing out a hairbrush. It's like a straightening hairbrush, right? She, but my point on this one was she's only got seven subscribers. So it doesn't have to be a channel with a thousand subscribers. She's got seven subscribers. This video has two, over 2,000 views and has earned about five bucks. So, you know, for, well, 14 minutes, but hey, it's up there and it's going to continue earning a little bit every single time. So another type of video that you could do without having to show your face that can earn a bit of extra money are cooking videos. I've done quite a few cooking videos or preserving or making jams and jellies that have done really well. As a matter of fact, my number one most viewed video on my channel of all time is how to preserve figs. No joke. So you can make videos about cooking or preserving or things you're doing in the kitchen that don't require you to show your face on camera at all. So, some of my most popular videos don't have my face in them. Maybe that should tell me something. <laughs> so here are a couple. One of them is how to make potato volcanoes. My guys and I made these potato volcanoes and had so much fun with the video. Um, it has 11,000 views. So let's click over and see. Okay, it starts with my face, all right, but quickly goes away from my face where I'm just showing like my hands chopping. I don't know if I can play it while I'm doing this, you know, and I speed it up a little bit and we chop, 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 whatever, you know, and just showing how we're making these potato volcanoes, right? So this video has uh, 11,000 views and has earned $17. Now I could have dropped some affiliate links in here like this is the knife I'm using, these are my potatoes. I don't know if you can get affiliate links for potatoes, but it's Amazon, they deliver everything. Are you kidding me? So I could probably put all of the things that I used in this video and get uh, affiliate income. What is the matter with me? I need to get on that. Okay, the figs. So here's another one. Again, I, I could drop an affiliate link for my dehydrator on here. Did I do it? No. How am I just thinking of this? This was two years ago. Oh my gosh. Okay, this is my number one most popular video, Thrifty Living Drying Figs. As soon as we hang up, I'm gonna go put my affiliate link on here where I show, you know, here's my fig tree and we're picking figs and we're dehydrating them and all of this and then they're dried at the end. So yeah, this video has, has the most views of all the videos on my channel. Now, now, it may not have necessarily earned the most money, but it is the most views. So um, again, two for which I, I didn't get my twofer in there, so I need to go put my affiliate link, maybe for mason jars, maybe for my dehydrator, anything that I used that could be purchased from Amazon or other affiliate programs. All right, let's go through a couple of extra ways, and then I wanna hear from you. Leave a comment down below of other ways that people can make videos without showing their face on YouTube. Okay, so a couple other videos that I've done that have earned some income were, were these ones. All right, so these are ones that I'm trying to think outside the box where you're not in, you know, looking in the camera, you're doing things off screen, but are still making videos that can earn some income. So again, here's another one where I could have put an Amazon affiliate link for a Mont Blanc pen for, for somebody who might just want to go out and buy one, right? I found a Mont Blanc pen at a garage sale and I was trying to figure out, is it real, is it fake? So there was a whole group of people who love Mont Blanc pens. So I just took, I mean, basically it's just me picking over the pen, showing the different parts, taking it apart, putting it back together. Yes, I get comments about my nails on this one because they weren't done, but whatever. Um, but you know, it earned, 10 bucks, it's got over 7,000 views. And it's up there, so every time someone views it, it earns a little bit extra each month. So there's that. Um, so, and then another thing you can do are tutorial videos. So I've done a number of tutorial videos, like how I make movies, like iMovie, or tutorial videos for eBay sellers, just showing my screen, showing how to go in and order supplies for your using your eBay coupon, or go in and show how to order free supplies from the post office. Something you know how to do. So focus on what you know, what you have around you, and make videos like that. All right, so here again, how to use the eBay coupon codes. This is another one where I'm just showing the screen. I didn't have my face in the camera. 
Okay, here's some other ones. So I make videos for some of my listings on eBay that make noise or move or dance or sing. And this is a Indiana Jones book, one of those that you push the buttons and it makes the noise. Um, well, this video, this book has sold, but I left the video up there because I'm still earning revenue off of it. So it's just a little one minute video where I'm pushing the, okay, my kids are pushing the buttons on this book because they wanted to participate. And it's making the noises and people can see what this book is all about. So I've got this one. I've got another one with a metronome, which is a metronome tick, tick, ticking away. Um, so you don't even have to be an eBay seller. It doesn't have to be an eBay listing. Yeah, I have the eBay listing in here. But now that this is sold, I can go find an, a listing on Amazon and stick an Amazon listing on there. And then here's one where I did this Snoopy. It's one of those that you... It walks and sings and all of that good stuff. So yeah, I still have some of these listed. I have a bunch of them. So I, I still have the video up because the video is still earning ad revenue. So the main takeaway is find something that you know, find something you're good at, whether it's products you have around your house. When you buy something new, unbox it on the, on the table and show, does it work? Read a book that you like that's in the public domain. Create a video. Just do something that you know. Let's say you want to make your grandma's famous cookies. Make a video showing how to make grandma's famous cookies. Every little bit adds up. And while some videos may make 17 cents a month, this video makes $1.50 a month. The next video makes three bucks a month. It all ends up rolling together. And once they're up there, they're up there. And they start rolling together. And these little bits start adding up to be a really big thing. Could be little bits of snow rolling together to make a big snowball of money. Now, while you may not make millions doing this, but you never know, you may. This is a great way to make extra income for your household on YouTube. Again, let me know other ways that you can think of for making videos without showing your face on the camera to earn extra money. And again, if you are new here, I would love to have you subscribe. Go down there and hit that subscribe button and the little bell so you're notified when I put up new videos. And I'll talk to you guys later. Bye. Really, lady, like, blah, 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 blah. For seeing this video, look, wrong way. <laughs>